Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel and Auto Addiction. Today we're going to fix another dash, a GM problematic dash with a crack in it. This is on a GMC Sierra Xena cab. Uh, flip around here and show you what we're working with. Alright, so what we got, uh, latches broke right here. We're going to try to take that apart and fix it. We've got a typical right above the airbag broken. And then this one's getting pretty bad right here. So. What we're going to do first is we're going to clean the dash really well. Uh, mix up some Dawn dish soap, some water, and we're going to rinse the, rinse the rag out real good. Just wipe it all down, get all the dirt and stuff off of it. And then we'll go back with like an Acrosol and uh, clean it up and see what we can, up, can come up with. So I'm actually going to do this dash over like a day or so. So this way I can prep it real good. Uh, the guy just dropped it off of me good buddy of mine so we're gonna clean it up real good let it dry overnight and then come back tomorrow and I'll prep it with Acrosol really work that just soap in see this one's getting pretty bad and the guy doesn't care it's his work truck but he drives down a dirt road every day to get to work and he's tired of listen to the dash rattle around when the rest of the truck runs so good so, so I'm hop over to the clean. I did was wipe it down and uh, wipe the rag down as much as I could and then I'll go back with a dry rag a dryer rag and get the excess off and then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll hit that with some Acrosol and I'll probably hit it with some just a light scotch bright pad or scotch and scuff it a little bit just so the Blue it here is a little better. But I know you guys checked in when I did the Yukon, 2007 Yukon. Uh, I'll put a link to that video down below if you want to go check that one out if you guys have a Yukon. Uh, I use a product called Dash Skins. Uh, there will also be a link down there to Dash Skins. Uh, not sponsored by them or anything, but they make a really good product really easy to work with and they're really quick with shipping and uh, haven't had any problems with them so so yeah sorry about the camera angles I forgot my thing that usually holds my camera so I'm going to hold it with my hand so kind of bouncing around a little bit but so yeah that's pr pretty much it so I'm going to let this sit overnight and when I see you guys back on next part of it and then we're going to prep it real good and we'll get to putting the dash pad on just wanted to not slack this time and actually do a video for y'all if um, I'm fixing one of these so this one's actually pretty pretty bad worse than mine was so what I do is I got some um, some material same stuff I used in the truck video you guys can go check that out. So we're just going to use some of this. And we're going to slap this on the dash where it's broken because it's real thin. But it's super sticky. Uh, and that way it holds the dash together where it's broken. Better than using duct tape or something like that. And then we'll put it back together. But there's a company right there. Awesome guys, I reached out, they use all my videos on on their YouTube channel. It's actually my install video on my 97 F250. Y'all check that out. But uh, we're going to get cranking on this and uh, see you guys on the next step. What's up? So get on to the second part of getting this dash done. And uh, I ordered the latch for this today. It's still available, so 20 bucks versus trying to mess with that thing. So. We'll get that thing up and running and uh, 
So grab some Acrosol, and then we're gonna get the rest of the dash prepped. So, a nice clean rag, grab some Acrosol. So, just use some Acrosol, it's for automotive adhesive. Most of you using like body work, you can use alcohol. I got some alcohol wipes too, I'll probably wipe it down with. Um, just gonna spray it down and get any grease, dash material, stuff like that. Make sure everything sticks real well. So go ahead and wipe it all down. When you guys are done wiping it down, uh, then we'll work on patching this big hole right there. So we got the dash all prepped. Got it all wiped down, looking pretty dry. And then what I'm gonna do is these sheets come, I think it's probably like one by two. And we're gonna cut it to trim to fit kind of nice in that little indentation right there. And so that way if the dash cracks even more, this will kind of bond it together from rattling underneath the dash. So we're gonna get this piece put on. I might just put it on this whole thing to keep it since it's cracked from there all the way over to the other side. So I get this stuck down and then uh, I need two hands to do that. So once I get it in place, then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's where I'm at. Uh, I got the sound editing stuff down. This stuff's real thin, um, but like I said, it's just gonna keep that dash from like creaking underneath the panel. A little strip right there and then a strip up on the defroster grill. And I'll put another one right here. Keep that just from flexing. Just so when you go gluing it down. And then uh, we'll do get the panel out of the box. Show you guys what it looks like. And we'll do a test fit real quick. Before I apply any glue. To see kind of where I need to apply glue and stuff like that. So uh, let's, let's get it out of the box. Alright guys so here's a test fit. So that way you can kind of see how it wraps around the, the grills. Um, so we need to make sure we glue it real good all across here, back across the back right here, and you want to make sure you got something to weigh it down. Um, but yeah, even just sitting there, looks a lot better than a big hole in the dash. So we're gonna get laying down some glue. Uh, I try to just be pretty sparse, and I also got some tacky strip. I'm gonna lay it, lay on there too, just to help hold it down, and then glue it also. So this way it kind of gets the best of both worlds and then around the vents and the outsides. I always try to use epoxy just because that way it holds it a lot a lot better. So uh, we're going to get started. Alright guys, so here's what I got so far on it. And then these panels right here, they give you like these foam inserts. Put it in here and kind of shut the door. Keep pressure up against the side. So you just wedge it in the door like that. And then, uh, so yeah, I gotta weight it down pretty good. And then tomorrow, peel it all off and polish the rest of the dash. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So that's pretty much it. I mean, not too terrible. A little bit of time consuming. Sorry, I couldn't record as much of the gluing and stuff like that like I wanted to but it's kind of hard to film and glue at the same time without having glue everywhere so yep so looks pretty good so we'll get it all peeled off tomorrow I'll show you guys what it looks like let it sit overnight inside and uh, go from there hey guys what is up today is the next day so Got the dash all untaped, unweighted. Uh, I didn't get to do a bit part of that on the video because it's first thing in the morning on Saturday and I'm at work, so it's pretty slammed. But here's the results. Put a little nice dressing on the old glove box and the airbag so that way it looks nice and glossy black like the rest of the dash. But you can see way better than having a big old hole up on the top. Looks really good, fits around the gauge cluster pretty nice, wraps around the vent, so 
I think they do a really good job with these kits. Dash skins, like I said, a link will be down below. And uh, yeah, I think it came out really good. So let me know what you guys think. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already in auto addiction. Uh, try to help you guys out with all your projects. But again, this is a uh, 2007 GMC Sierra dash repair. And uh, I think it came out really nice. So it looks really good. Customer will be happy with it. And way better than spending $1,400 on a, on a dash. So. so yeah, hope this helps somebody out. And then also replace that little latch piece on the dash right there. So no big deal. And then buffed out his headlights. They were all yellow looking, so he didn't expect that. but not too much to buff them out so they look nice and clear again just a little added touch so let me know what you guys think again if you guys got any questions hit me up you can comment below or hit me up on instagram and auto addiction and uh, i'll get back to you i appreciate everybody's support we're over 2,000 subscribers so hope you guys have a great rest of the week and we'll see you guys on the next video